Here we have a 21 plate Land Rover Defender X Dynamic S. Now this vehicle comes with 20 inch alloy wheels, all in excellent condition. We also have the air suspension, meaning you can raise or lower the vehicle, perfect for off-roading. We have the grey exterior paintwork, a nice utility feel just here on the bonnet. We also have the daytime running LED headlights, Defender written just on the front there as well. Nice and aggressive front end on this vehicle. We have the snorkel, we have the colour coded door handles, black door mirrors, black trim around the windows. We also have the privacy glass for the rear passengers, the roof rack up top as well. Around to the rear, you find the wheel cover. We also have the two tow hooks either side of that. We have the 360 degree cameras with front and rear parking sensors. We also have the storage box just on this side, just here as well. Taking a look now at the interior, you'll find the full leather interior. Let's take a look at the back first. So we have three seats on this row. We also have the two extra seats in the back there, as this is a seven-seater. We have the fixed ISO points as well. Just down here, you'll find the separate climate control for the rear passengers, two 12-volt connectivities and two Type-C USB ports. We also have a USB port inside of the seat just there as well. On the doors, you'll find, again, the utility feel and the electric windows. Coming into the front, you'll find the same full leather interior. However, both of these front seats are heated, and there is a look at them. We have the affordable armrest in the center as well. Again, the utility feel on the doors, the electric windows, which are the rear electric mirrors as well. We have the integrated speakers, multifunctional steering wheel just there. If we take a seat inside, you'll find the auto wipers on that stalk and the auto lights just there. Digital dashboard as well, if you want to flick between all of the different views on there, please check out the pictures on the website. We also have the main infotainment screen which has the likes of SatNav. We also have the phone connectivity, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. We have a range of media just there such as the FM, DAB and AM radio. Go onto the home and go onto all of these other apps just here, you'll find the 4x4 information just there. We need to start the vehicle so put the foot on the brake and press the start button. This is where you'll find all of the off-road information just there. We also have the weight sensing as well and some more information just there. If you put the car into reverse, you'll find the 360 degree cameras just there. You can switch between on-road and off-road. So you can see we can have all of these different options just here. Plenty of options to go through. If you want to see them all, please check out the pictures on the website. So if we go back over here, you'll also find all of these options just here. We also have the Alexa just there as well. So all them options just there. We also have a USB port just there as well. The Defender is written just there. Very nice feel inside of here. We have the two zone climate control as well as the heated seats if we press that down. As you can see, we can turn the heated seats on just like so. We have the air suspension, so if we press that, you'll find that we are now on the normal height. Press it again and we go into the off-road height and the vehicle is now rising with the air suspension. We also have a range of other buttons here such as the air, ice cold air conditioning just there as well. We have Type-C USB port along with the USB port, standard USB port and a 12 volt connectivity. We have a nice leather armrest just there. But that's all I'm going to show you guys today. Once this vehicle gets a full valet, we'll do a more in-depth video. If you'd like to find out more, please check out the website. Thank you for watching.